Hey everyone, welcome back to Mac React. Today we're going to be getting into Star Wars Visions Episode 3. And obviously, as you can tell, uh, we could not wait to get into Episode 3. So same day, same t-shirts. But this episode is titled The Twins. And this is the one that they definitely showed heavily in the trailer. Um, and it's made by Studio Trigger, who also made Kill a Kill. And we definitely enjoy that anime. But if you've ever seen Kill a Kill, it is definitely an action heavy anime. So we have high expectations for this anime and we're definitely expecting some awesome action scenes in this one. So I can't wait. Yeah, they showed a lot of this episode in particular during the trailer that they dropped a little while back. So I'm assuming it's probably one of the more action heavy ones or one of the better episodes of the season. Um, like she said, uh, Studio Trigger is doing this. We love Kill a Kill. And I think they might even be doing two episodes in this series. I'm not really sure, but um, at least one we know of. And the voice actors for this episode are some heavy hitters. They got some A-listers, Neil Patrick Harris and Allison Brie um, to come and be the voices for the twins. So very excited to hear the two of them for sure. And just excited to see what this episode has in store for us overall. So thank you guys for joining us. We're ready to get into it. So let's do it. Episode number three. Let's do it. Why are there no stars right there? It looks like there's a star destroyer in the Ah, way. star destroyer. It's destroying the stars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was like in the shadow. That was Dang. cool. What, what the fuck? That looks crazy. <laughs> oh. Damn, this is cool already. This is so cool. Ooh, very menacing. What is that? A kyber crystal? A giant kyber crystal? <laughs> it's huge. The journey has only just begun, B2 Oh, that's Allison Bree. Oh. brother and I will bring Once the refined dark energy is unleashed through the ship's hyper it's a star destroyer? Or I mean it's like a it's like a, a death, death star, star yeah. but like a mini death star. Yeah. All I can hear is Allison Brie with like Abed in the imagination place. Damn, her armor looks so dope. It looks so cool. I was gonna say somebody's gonna make this. Yeah, all oh, the cosplays are gonna be crazy. Yeah. Yeah, they will. <laughs> <laughs> Found him right away. Barely an inconvenience. He said, "Okay, you told me so." Oh my god, that's so cool! I loved this scene too in the trailer. There's like A wings and X wings on there? What the hell? Oh! Oh, they coming. Oh no. Dude, ship's cool. He's like, go get the ship ready. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> oh, let's go, dude. He's kind of like Luke. Yeah. He's. Whoa! What? She had a force field. Yeah, it deflected the the shots. And his name's like R two O. Mhm. Mm nice. That looks so dude. cool. Oh, she's fourth That's pulling her? in. That's her? Nice. She's pulling a ray? Damn. Bro, she's scary! Oh. She can just pull it through the ship? That's crazy. Oh, she pulled him through the ship too. Oh, shit! Oh, no! no. Damn, this animation is crazy. Dude. <laughs> Ooh. It is a kyber crystal. It's huge though. Yeah, like I've never seen one that big. They both have it? That's kill a kill shit right there. Yeah, <laughs> that is some kill a kill shit. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Crystal, 
he got such a small piece of it. I know. <laughs> her piece is huge. I think she's going to put it in her suit, right? <gasps> oh no! Yep, that's what she did. Damn. Oh my gosh, dude. Allison Brie was going in though. She had to like scream. <laughs> Lightsaber whips? Yeah. Whoa. Bro, that is so <laughs> crazy. Dude, nice. yes, that was from the trailer. Bro, she's Whoa. like Grievous! <laughs> Let's go! That was crazy. She is so cool. Oh, shit. Oh my god, did from, one come out of her from shoe? her heel? <laughs> Bro, that was so metal. Damn. Oh my god. Really? She's OP. Oh my god. Oh. Nice. Hyperdrive. Maybe if I use the power of the ship's propulsion They're going to pull a they're going to pull a last Jedi and try to ram it? Yeah. Whoa. Dude. That is so dope. Dude, this... There is no try, only do. I can make this work. There is no try, only do. Whoa. Oh my. He's got the in Infinity Gosh. Stone lightsaber. The Infinity Stone <laughs> lightsaber. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my god, oh, dude. This, this one went crazy. in. <laughs> Is she gonna dodge it? Hashtag destiny! Let's go! He's on the outside of the ship and it's about to go hyperspeed? Oh, nice. Oh my god. Is he gonna take off? Oh! Did it cut through that in half? Yes, that was crazy. Is she gonna it be left, okay? It left her there, floating in space. <laughs> Someone got her. Aww. <laughs> nice, the protocol droid. Why does he? Why does he need the helmet? He's a droid. He can exist in space. And why doesn't she need one? <laughs> I know. <right? laughs> wow, wow, that looks crazy. Is he going to go back for her? Is that how they end it? <laughs> he crashed oh. like that. She's alive. I can feel it. His, his sister? My twin sister. Oh, and they're on Tatooine! The twin sons. That's pretty cool. That was so... One's like light and one's dark. That's cool. Yeah. That was, I think, probably the best one so far. That was amazing. Literally amazing. Oh my god. Like, one thing I did love in Kill a Kill is that everything was like balls to the wall, like biggest things we can do. And then they literally did that in this episode. And that's what I wanted to see. Like, <laughs> using the hypers or the hyperdrive to cut the crystal. That was crazy. This was fantastic. Good job, Studio Trigger. Great job, yeah. I thought that Neil Patrick Harris did a good job with what he was given, but I thought Allison Brie did a great job. She I think she it was out of the she park. was asked to do a lot more, like screaming and yelling and mm -hmm. stuff. I thought she did great. Now it it they never actually said like if Vader or Palpatine had anything to do with like okaying them being made. I, I would I would assume that like Palpatine is still around and stuff because they brought up the Republic and the Empire. Oh yeah, they did. She was like, we're doing this for the Empire or whatever, for the for the dark side. Yeah. Um, she was like, what, you're gonna give the Kyber Crystal to the Republic? So they, they never like out outright said this is happening. Like we said before, they're not canon, but it almost seems like there's like little Easter eggs or little details that do connect it to the canon. Yeah. Um, but I did like that they didn't explain everything 
Like, why were there Republic ships on their ship? Oh, you yeah, know? that's true. And then they had two Star Destroyers connected to make, like, one, like, Death Star, like you said. But if you remember in, um, I want to say, it was Rise of Skywalker, the mm. last movie, they had a bunch of Death, uh, um, what are they called, Star Destroyers mm -hmm. with guns on them that could destroy planets, too. Like, each star destroyer had one. Oh yeah and so it kind of confused me i was like why would they need two <laughs> when we just saw in the movie each each one could have its own gun so I, that, that was kind of silly to me i think they just wanted to have them sitting in the other yeah. chairs like i think it was yeah studio trigger wanted them to each i guess each twin to have like their own star destroyer that were connected i thought that was such a cool idea although it was kind of unnecessary Kill a Kill was like that too, like a lot of unnecessary over the top stuff, but it was just so fun to look at. So. Oh yeah. I mean, and I think that's what we were most excited for in this episode is because we knew that they were gonna do some stuff like that. I mean, that's their MO, man, and I'm, I'm fine with it. Now, so far we've gotten two lightsaber battles and they were both really cool to watch, but the, the part that stood out to me the most in this episode was the animations of the X-Wing flying around. I loved that so much. <laughs> I loved seeing the X-Wing just like dart around all quick, just like anime style, you know? I think a lot of Star Wars stuff is like perfect for this anime type of medium. And that is exactly what I wanted to see out of this. That's so true. You know, um, Star Wars live action, you know, there's only like so much they can do, right? Because they're using real actors. But every time they throw Star Wars into like an animated series, I mean, it always, they're always able to show way more and I definitely love the way Kill a Kill made everything like super I mean you're right I didn't even think about how quick the ship was going but it definitely worked and it was very cool all in all I am definitely happy with this episode it blew my expectations out of the water and I didn't know this was what I needed and it was this episode was really good and i really honestly hope that studio trigger does another episode because i, I would like to i think they have another one in this season okay good yeah because i really would like to see them do another episode like that yeah. i mean having that balls to the wall fight was just perfect <laughs> All right, guys, so well, I think that's going to do it for us. We had a lot of fun watching this episode. It was perfect. We hope you enjoyed it as well. If you like this video, leave a like and subscribe and comment anything we missed down below because this episode, I'm sure there was a few things we missed, little details. And as always, y'all are the best, guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace out. Bye.